Welcome back for another update. It's your girl, buddy. We've got all the tomatoes here. As you can see, I've removed quite a few. We got three on the bottom and two on the top. And believe it or not, they're really doing great considering I'm not flushing the nutrients out all the time. For instance, on, on these, I went four weeks just feeding them nutrients from the reservoir and the growth was fine. I don't see any you know, nutrient deficiencies or anything. So um, before I was dumping all the nutrients every one or two weeks and refilling, but um, I have a guy who's using one of my units and he doesn't ever drain it and he's having great results. And on these tomatoes, I was getting lazy here at the end because I know it's winter, so I haven't been replacing the nutrients and dumping it and they're doing, you know, really great just being fed nutrients through the reservoir so you could do it either way you can drain the grow buddy and refill it with nutrients whenever you want or you can just feed it nutrients from the reservoir continuously and um, all the way till the end um, so the guy that used my unit never drained the unit all the way till the end of the grow and had no deficiencies or toxicities and so really saved a lot of water in my opinion. So I'm going to be trying that method on some plants and on others, drain them every one or two weeks and see just kind of does it make a difference because he's saving a lot of water and nutrients uh, doing it that way. So um, hit me up on Instagram if you got any questions about the feeding schedules. You can definitely just feed it nutrients through the reservoir and not drain it. That's not a problem and it'll really save you a lot of water. Or you can, you know, dump them every week or two and refill it with the float valve. All right. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments. Out for now.